What's up, my fellow X-Men fans? As you've all probably heard by now, it's a pretty sad week in the X-Men universe. Mr. Norm Spencer has died, the voice of Cyclops in the animated uh, cartoon from the 90s for X-Men. And so I figured I'd do a little tribute. Um, Kind of a funny thing, Cyclops really uh, had a love-hate relationship with this guy. Uh, I really did not like him, but I loved his mutant power, and I always found myself picking him in the video games, um, probably one of my favorite ones to pick. So I always went back and forth with that, but he definitely is a staple icon X-Men figure, obviously. I just want to do a little tribute. So here we go. Real name. Scott Summers, 6'3", 175 pounds. Hey, that's my exact measurements. Anyways, possesses the mutant power to discharge an optic blast of concussive, concussive force from his eyes. Cyclops, you will be in overall command. Professor Xavier, we've been together for a long time. And I strongly believe, as you do, in the peaceful coexistence between humans and mutants. But when you formed the X-Men, was it not to teach us to use our powers to benefit mankind? So ordinary people would learn not to fear us? Professor, aren't we... I know what you're going to say, Cyclops, but I'm afraid we have no choice. What's the matter? Teacher's pet got cold feet. Anytime. Pretty boy. Cyclops! Cyclops! I know how you feel about it, Wolverine, but... You know nothing, little man. Next time, I use these. I'm taking them out from you! Let's do it. Let's see how tough you are when you ain't given orders. So better to open. Come on, Rogue. Cyclops, give them an eyeful. Uh oh. Let's fly. Cyclops, move your boat. Drop it. I need to talk to you. But out, four eyes. You wouldn't hit a man with glasses, would you? So, take them on. Stop! Put them back on, please! Surrender, mutant. Of course. Not. Ah! Sentinel-14 damaged by unknown mutant, returning to base for repairs. Ah! Halt, mutant! Oh no, I just wanna go home! Jubilee, duck! Control to Cyclops. Huh? What'd you say? What's with you? We finally get a night out together and you're a million miles away. You know, to me, being an X-Man is the most important job in the world. That's why I can't bear the thought of letting Professor Xavier down. And it's making you crazy. You're doing the best you can, but you're no good to the Professor when you're like this. Relax a little. For the good of the team. You're absolutely right. From this moment on, my mind is on nothing but you. I don't 
think so, buddy. I better not try that again. Without my visor, I can't control these things. Your bravery and leadership. I knew it was my destiny to have one such as you to rule beside me. That is why I sent this one into trouble to help show you the way. Leave him alone, sinister! Your fight is with me! Ah, my body! This is impossible. So, you like playing God with mutants' lives? Well, just keep away from my friends! Ah! Rocket, the blade. Run. What have you done with Xavier? Scott, Jean, how good to see you again. Kindly go collect our guests. I shall go to great lengths to be a service. Ah! Two X-Men. Gift wrapped. Very thoughtful, George. Now, let's... Ah! Wolverine? God! Get down! I want Sinister! <laughs> Come on, Sinister. You want me? Here I am! Rocket! Let's go, boys! about to blast that Joker. I can't tell you that he's Scott's father. Why have you taken him, my captain? As a hostage? No, Raza. Not a hostage. He's a weapon. The last one we'll ever need. The press and the authority should be here any minute. Sarah, when I used my mutant powers back at Kilgraves. You weren't shocked. No. I already knew. But when did you... I've known since that day back when we were kids. Oh! My head! And the others were so cruel to you when no one would adopt you. But you never made me feel like an outcast. Like the others did. It didn't matter to me, Scott. You were always my friend. Sir. You might not like everything I'm going to tell you. Twenty years ago, we were flying home from a camping trip in Alaska. I was flying our old de Havilland Mosquito when a Starcraft began shadowing us from above. Open fire. We only had seconds before the two tanks were going to blow. The flames had destroyed all our parachutes but one. I strapped you into that chute, and we tied little Alex into your arms. I love you. Your mother and I said what we thought would be our last goodbyes to you. We pushed you to safety, watching after you, praying you'd make it down all right. But as your parachute began to burn, we had little hope. Just as our fuel tanks went, your mother and I were transported into the attacker's ship, imprisoned. Collected as biological specimens for the Shi'ar. It looked hopeless. 
until the Star Jammer crew sprung us loose. What happened to my mother? Destroyed before my eyes. By the Shi'ar tyrant, the Ken, the monster you X-Men and the Phoenix helped me defeat. How did we get out here? I think we can thank our friend Mojo. Where did that come from? Over there! Torpedo! This one's mine. Now to give him the slip. Now that's what I call 